Oh man, I am tired. It's like 4.35 o'clock in the morning guys and heading to Austin to pick up the new wheels and tires for the Jeep. Uh, subscribers bringing them down from the Dallas area and meeting me at a um, discount tire in Austin and we're gonna get these things installed. Ah, getting a little daylight out there. You can see it. Ah, this is times when I wish I had the one LE because I can get there quick. stupid wearing a mask when there ain't nobody in my vehicle even if there was somebody in my vehicle i wouldn't wear a mask so don't be stupid take your damn mask off that way i don't have to laugh at your ass that was the liberal crap hole called Austin, Texas. Never used to be like that, guys. I grew up here, never used to be like that. But since a lot of Californians have moved into Austin, they've turned it into a crap hole, just like where they left. So that's why I don't live here no more. Guys, last time you're gonna see these wheels and tires on a Jeep, man. I'm so happy I'm getting these replaced. This will be the last time that you see these wheels and tires on a Jeep. I've done taking the spare off already because I gotta bring back four of them inside the Jeep. But this is the last time. What's up guys? How's everybody doing, man? Finally, after the long drive to Austin, Texas to get the new tires and rims and or wheels installed, and in the drive all the way back, I finally am gonna show you guys what they look like. They are way better than the ones that I had on here. I'm telling you, man, way better than the ones I had on here. So let's take a look at the rims and tires and I'll go over everything about them. And also I wanna give a big shout out to uh, Jeff, one of, uh, our subscribers for helping me for bringing down the uh, the wheels all the way from Rockwell, Texas, all the way down to Austin. I really appreciate it.
right, guys, as you can see, what do you think? I think they look good. Now, they're probably not what some of you guys were expecting. These are 255, 75, 17s, R17s. They are the Mud Terrain TA uh, BF Goodrich. So, um, I'm really happy with them, man. It sounds like a big Jeep going down the road. It's got a little roar to it, but I think they're, they're really nice. Let's take a closer look. So again, I want to uh, give a big shout out and thank you to Jeff, man. Without you, I couldn't have done this. Uh, he helped bring the tires down and helped me get a hold of these tires and wheels. I really appreciate it, man. I think they look good on the Jeep. I think they look a lot better than the, uh, the ones I had on here. And the, I love the tread on this tire. It makes it more look like a, a man's Jeep. You know what I mean, guys? So let's take a look at the sun side of it right here. And these are takeoffs from a Rubicon. I, think, I believe it was a 2019 Rubicon. I'm not 100% sure. It was somewhere around there, either 2018 or 19 Rubicon. But I think it looks really good. So I know some of you guys were expecting big, huge tires and like black rims and stuff like that. Um, I'm happy with these. For right now, they work great. Um, like I said, I'll probably go with bigger tires, a little bit wider tires. Uh, just not real wide, but that's what I plan on doing. I mean, what do you guys think? You think they look good? Let me know down in the comments what you think. So I really don't have that many mods to go right now because I'm actually becoming broke and running out of money because I don't start my new job till December the 1st and I have no idea when I get paid. But I do have another mod on the way, some cow, cover, cow replacements like Diamond Black. They're going to be on here. Uh, those should be here like Tuesday or Wednesday. And that's probably gonna be all the modifications I do until I start getting some uh, paychecks coming in. Again, uh, come Tuesday, this will be black, diamond plated. I appreciate all you guys watching this video. So hope you guys like these new tires. Here's a before <laughs> and after. Look at the logs out here. There is a lot of stuff that is, because of all the storms that have been in the Gulf, that have floated up on the beach here. So what I'm gonna do is get a trash bag and I'm gonna try to clean a little bit of this stuff up. There's a lot of trash out here. Just a minute ago, a guy in a minivan, a minivan, you drive in a minivan, by the way, told me this is a no drone zone. Uh, he's wrong. Past the jetties at Mustang Island State Park, it's a no drone zone. I'm fine over here. Padre Island National Seashore is a no drone uh, zone. So people, mind your own damn business. I'm out here picking trash up on the beach and want to get the only way I can get any decent footage is with a drone of me picking up the trash. So I'm doing you a favor by picking up trash on the beach so when you come down here, you don't have to look at trash. And you gotta stop here and tell me it's a no drone, so get out of here. All right guys, appreciate you guys watching this video. Hit that like button. Please let me know what you think about the rims and tires. Uh, I wanna hear you guys' opinion, all right? So first time four wheel drive, here we go. I'm in a little bit deeper sand. So we're gonna drive in the deep sand now. I've got my feet in the mud and you die.